at the start line now of the Wargrave Challenge Cup, the club women's eight. Thank you to Kat Bishop, who's joined me in the commentary box. And I now welcome Zoe de Toledo. Hello there, Sarah. How are you? It's been a wonderful morning for me and the and the Aussies, but uh, going well so far as we're away now in the Wargrave Challenge Cup, Thames Rowing Club A and Leander Club. Look at that start there for both these women's eights. This is a direct repeat of last year's final in the Wargrave. Thames Rowing Club back with seven of the nine finalists from last year. So they are going to be looking to put out an early marker against the Leander crew who are holders of this event. Great start there from both crews. Leander on closest on screen to us, Thames Rowing Club in the Barks station up at the top of the screen. Perhaps with just an early race lead here out of the start. Yeah, it looks like Thames Crew had a really um, aggressive, powerful start there. They just flew out of those first few strokes. And I think, you know, this Leander crew, they're a younger crew, but they've got international experience, under 23s, home internationals. They are a club development crew, but I think we're seeing that um, sort of cohesive power from Thames, the fact that they've been rowing together for such a long time. That's really um, put them out to a good start here. Yeah, Thames has looked exceptional all week. They're out here to take this win. Make no mistake, the Wargrave Challenge Cup, they've been eyes on the prize. Brilliant rowing from the crew, absolutely the crew to beat. So I think we see there now, you can see at the top of your picture, that crew from Thames in the white boat with the black blades, just looking like a really long stroke there underwater. These women are all full-time um, workers you know they there's there's a doctor in there there's a software engineer a winery project manager so these women are fitting in two sessions a day on top of a nine to five job but you can see the quality of their rowing they really have this very um long powerful stroke You've got some really good athletes in there ali sharp at four xul athlete just getting that really long powerful movement under the water Great shot there, looking down the course. Got pretty good conditions here. It's been very testing for these crews all week. Strong headwind conditions, gusty from the qualifiers onwards, but some lovely weather today. Although deceptive because it is tricky out there. There's still a little bit of breeze on the water. And of course, the roll from the pleasure craft moving up and down the course. So always challenging here on the course at Henley. I think Thames have put themselves in a really good position here to manage any rougher water that comes along in the second half of the course. But let's not forget Leander, they are the holders. They won the inaugural race last year. They're not going to be willing to just let this Thames crew go. So I think we need to keep out, you know, keep an eye out for them, especially in the second half of the course. Anything can happen as we know, we've seen it. But dominating this race in the early stages, it is Thames Rowing Club A looking to reverse the result from last year in the bow. Amy Gibson, Ruth Taylor in two, Sarah Carlotti in three, Anna Annie Sharp in four, Jordan Cole Hossein in five, Olivia Rogerson, Christy Davis, the stroke Jessica Eastwood, coxed by Natalie Kernan. Thames have had a fantastic season this year. You know, they've not been beaten by many crews at all, certainly not crews here from the UK. They were beaten by Brown in Champates at Henley Women's, but they had some fantastic races to get to that point, turned over some crews. We can see now as we come in to look at that Thames crew, we can just about make out the name on the bow of the boat, Baz Moffat. So Baz, Thames alumna, who also represented GB, and she's a fantastic woman and advocate for women's rowing. She continues to work with women in sport in her capacity at the Well HQ, and they really champion female athletes there by tackling some quite difficult subjects that don't really get talked about. For example, making sure athletes have sports bras that fit correctly, making sure uh, female athletes know about how to manage their periods and how to continue competing through that. And I think it's sort of taboo subjects that aren't discussed much, but are really important to female athletes. So she's doing some fantastic work there, and great to see her name on the bow of that Thames boat 
out in front at the moment as they come past and they'll get a massive roar here from the Remenham Club where their, uh, their crews are based. So you can hear that now on the live stream, that big shout for Thames. And what an absolute push on that must be from Thames. They now have clear water over Leander, but to hear that cheer, I mean, that must be an extraordinary pain right now. And hopefully it just helps to take that pain a little bit easier when you hear your club men and women cheering for you like that coming past the clubs. Yeah, so you come past Remenham and then you go into no man's land, that quiet section there just before you get to the enclosures. And Sunday, always a little bit quieter than the Saturday as well, but it's the die-hard rowing fans who are here on the Sunday. And that's why you get so much noise as you come to the enclosures. Look at this Thames crew. I mean, they have dominated this race really from start to finish. Look at that sweep out either side as we can see down the crew here. Really fantastic display of rowing here from these club women from Thames. Great shot there looking along the bow of the Thames crew, currently leading the Wargrave Challenge Cup. Only in its second year, hotly contested event. We saw three crews from Australia here all falling to the wayside through the week. As we move now to the crew from Leander, looking at the bow there of Amy Gibson in front of her Ruth Taylor. Oh, rather sorry. Sorry, that's India Summerside, getting my crews mixed up there. Frances Hunt Davis in the two seat in front of her. Presumably the daughter of one of our fellow stewards, Ben Hunt Davis. I believe so. Yeah, impressive athletes here in this crew from Leander as well. You know, they're young athletes, they're up and comers. These are going to be women that you'll be seeing probably in our national team over the next few years. But I think today it is going to be for Thames joining the rank of some of their men's crews have also been dominating the club events. But these women have really led from start to finish. And a late charge from Leander here I don't think is going to be enough to get them in front of that bow of the Thames rowing club boat. You're right, so it's going to be two apiece for Thames. The men taking out the Brit earlier in the day, coming across the line now. It is Thames Rowing Club taking out the Wargrave, making up for last year, defeating Leander. What a dominant row. Incredible performance from this crew all week, stepping up day on day. Thames Rowing Club A, victors in the Wargrave Challenge Cup. Look at that shot there of the coxswain, Natalie Kernan, full-time doctor, on the water today. Brilliant to see these women win in such a dominant fashion. Fantastic crew.